Well, hey everybody. Um, things haven't gone totally according to plan. I feel like I should just put that on the front of every video. Uh, but anyway, we did have a little bit of a honey pool today. Um, so what we'll do is uh, we'll get the honey warming cabinet because we're going to put the frames in there. And what that'll do is that'll let us um, spin the honey out a lot easier. I guess if I'm going to narrate, don't put a screw in your mouth. But uh, this is this is a uh, big wide honey frame. This box was built with the dimensions so that you could put frames in and they would sit on the rest, uh, the frame rest in here. And I think, I'll be honest, I haven't uh, done this in a while. I think that I can, yes, I can put a double row of mediums on. In this instance here, I've only got a half a dozen. So I'll probably just space them out very nicely so that nobody's robbing heat off the other. And then I'll come back this afternoon or evening and uncap them and spin them out. They should be, they should flow very well at that time. So we'll just keep loading them in here. This honey warming cabinet I built, um, it's got an on-off temp, and uh, just looking at it while it was plugged in and, and warming up before I started recording, I feel like it's uh, somewhere around that 85 range. So this uh, controller I got off of, of um, Amazon will We'll turn it off at 84, 85, whatever the set point is. And then it will turn it on. You can adjust it, but I have it set to come back on a few degrees below that. So it holds basically steady. So anyway, just a quick video, show you how I'm gonna use the honey warming cabinet today to get frames ready to extract. Thanks for watching. I hope you found that useful.